All right, welcome back. New transmitter. This one is uh, 3D printed. Um, the transmitter design is a uh, push-pull twin triode self-excited transmitter or self-excited oscillator to be correct. And I figured, well, why not 3D print everything and see if I can make a transmitter using only stuff that I had lying around here. And uh, well, I almost managed to do it. I had to resort to a few micro caps. I have one here and also padding capacitors to get this to oscillate on 80 meters. Uh, the tuning capacitor, uh, you can see here, are uh, two uh, pieces of laminate. These um, files, uh, they are available at Thingiverse and also and I have a better write-up on it there, so to head up to, over to Thingiverse and search SA2CLC. Yeah, now let's uh, hook this up to to the power supply. Okay, so now we are we have connected the, uh, the transmitter, the receiver. I have the sun shining in just from behind me, so it's bit hard to see. We have the EK receiver, the German World War II receiver. Down here we have the transmitter and we have hooked up uh, 300 volts negative lead with filament voltage 6.3 volts and out of picture we have uh, a telegraph key and uh, yeah let's uh, Let's see if there's anyone responding.
Okay, so as you saw and heard, it is perfectly possible to to uh, make contacts with uh, such a uh, such a simple transmitter. So I figured, why not try out uh, some amplitude modulation on this? I've read an old article about um, a technique called absorption modulation which is uh, uh, you add a coupling loop across the oscillator coil and the ends of the loop is terminated into a um, carbon microphone element so I had this old military handset lying around and I figured why not why not try it I mean it's just a wire and uh, the way the way it is supposed to work is that uh, the microphone element absorbs RF energy from the oscillator coil and therefore varying the amplitude and uh, as a matter of fact the old timers were right it uh, does work but uh, as you can hear this is uh, how it sounds uh, uh, demodulated by the EK uh, receiver and it's not too bad considering that this is uh, a, a carbon microphone and uh, who knows it probably sounds better in a, in a receiver a bit uh, farther away so but still it's a very simple uh, form of modulation and it's fun and it's a proof of concept that you don't have to uh, to uh, go all lengths to, to build something. You can build something very simple and have fun doing it. So uh, with this, I'm gonna end this video. Thank you for uh, watching, and uh, uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything you you want to know. And as I said earlier, the uh, design files for this is on Thingiverse. So head over there and search for SA2 CLC. So thanks for watching, see you in another video, 7-3, bye bye.